and welcome folks to the afterthought here this is your boy z and then this is my thoughts after the um what happened in el paso you look know, what you hear you see before you is a guy named patrick cruces this is your el paso shooter right this man traveled 600 miles to go to el paso and shoot at someone at a um at a walmart that was basically populated by the hispanics this guy here was led to believe that hispanics are taking over the country that they're the enemy this man wrote a whole uh, three paragraph essay or his manifesto, or whatever, talking about him and his political views. But in his political views, he's taught that he said that Mexicans don't enemy. He's just trying to take over. He's trying to uh, protect this country, right? So people, y'all need to understand what you're dealing with here. Now, for those who have been watching this channel, okay, I've, I've basically covered people like this here about these mass shootings. And now I hope you realize that there's a pattern. If you notice, there's a certain pattern being being shown, being revealed. Because remember when Dylan Roof came into that church and shot up the many people, right? The blacks got targeted, right? The Roof said his own mouth, he don't like blacks. So they got targeted inside their church. Just last year, a junior synagogue was shot up, right? People, that man shot into that junior synagogue because he thought the Jews was trying to, he thought the Jews was trying to take over. The Jews trying to come in here and trying to rule or whatever, right? Then on top of that, now you got this, that guy got this shooting here. Even in there, even the guy in Dayton, Ohio shot nine people, man. Again, man, y'all got to understand what's going on here, man. It's a pattern. You know what I'm saying? People, is a certain that these are being targeted and being shot at. Okay, so somebody don't like a certain amount of people, they're being, they're being killed. They're being slaughtered. And notice the, the, type of, the type of color of people that's doing these murders, right? Which they don't want to call domestic terrorists. You want to see what a terrorist is? It's this guy here. This is, is a domestic terrorist. This guy is no different than the boy in, in the Santa Fe High School um. At the Santa Fe High School in Texas, he was the same way, same mindset, right? The, the man in Las Vegas that shot up that country concert, right? What was he to you? What was he, a domestic terrorist, right? So but I'm going to basically explain to you why this is happening. And I'm going to tell you why, um, why people like this are emerging. It's because there's a secret, there's an organization out there. Uh, there's, a, there's an organization out there, which is a Nazi organization. There's some type of KKK, some type of Confederate or Nazi organization that's been recruiting people like this young man here to go out and target certain buildings, certain places, and start open fire and shooting people who they feel are the enemy. This man right here has been led to believe that, you know what I'm saying, Hispanics are the ones who are the problem, that we need to wipe them out. We need, we need to take them out, right? There are more and more people like this here, believe it or not. This guy is not the only one that's out there. So for people that's watching this video, y'all need to be y'all need to protect yourselves, man. Y'all need to be very mindful and aware of who you who who you are, are surrounded by. Okay? Because again, I don't believe this man this man did this, you know what I'm saying, on his own, man. No, he had help. He had influence. Okay? This young man might have been hanging around certain people, talking to certain people, going to certain seminars, going to certain rallies, and people putting him in his brain to hate. You know what I'm saying? Those who are, who he feels are who, who are evil, right? Who does he feel evil? Are these immigrants, these Hispanics, who ain't doing nothing to, new, to nobody, right? These Hispanics just mind their own business. This man went inside of a Walmart and started killing people who weren't who were just trying to survive, who were just trying to get something for their households. That you know what I'm saying? People weren't even trying to wasn't even thinking about killing him. People weren't even coming after him. He had, he chose to attack people who couldn't even defend themselves. Okay, look at this man's eyes here, man. This is the eyes of a straight killer. This is the eyes of somebody who has no remorse for the people he shoots. Now, this is a real devil. Okay. And, and again, man, this is why I do my videos, man, because certain people ain't focused on this type of things here, man. Who people perceive the devil ain't, ain't the devil. Okay. But no, you got y'all gonna understand this, man. These Confederates, these neo Nazis, they want war. They want another civil war. That's what this is coming down to. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you what this is, right? They are mad at the fact that they they can't have slaves. They lost to the North. They can't have slaves no more. They mad at the fact these Mexicans and Blacks can't be in slavery like they had it in the, in, in the 18th, 17th century. That's what, that, that's what this is coming down to. So what these Confederates have been doing, they've been trying to get them an army put together. Okay. And again, man, you, you that, this is this is what needs to be investigated. I believe that's a Confederate Nazi organization that's been secretly recruiting members, okay, 
to basically live out their cause and to go after and target people who they feel needs to be wiped out and eliminated. Okay? They what they what they're trying to do is they're trying to get these ethnicities, they're trying to get the Jews, they're trying to get the blacks, and they're trying to get the Mexicans to basically say we ain't gonna take it no more. We're gonna get it, we're gonna, we gonna uh we're gonna fight back at you and we're gonna start we're gonna start attacking you. That's what they want. They want these blacks, Jews, and Mexicans, they want these ethnicities to start shooting back at their ass so they can find a reason to go to war and start killing more people like these Hispanics, more blacks, more Hispanics, more Jews. Okay? And they use people like this young man here to start to start initiating that, to start the attacks. That's what they want. They want people to get angry. They want people to go out there and start grinding in the streets. That's what they want. Okay, I'm telling you what's good right now, what they want, man. Now, again, they want a civil war. They want revenge. All right? Because this young man here, Patrick Cruz, was just a regular student, right? He graduated high school. He was attending college. This guy don't even look like that type of, don't, don't even look like a skinhead. He don't look like a, uh, a KKK member. His hair ain't blonde. He don't look like that type of dude. This dude looks like somebody you would see at a GameStop. Okay? Somebody you would see if you was to be playing, uh, you was to be an evil at a, uh, at a Comic Con. This guy looks like somebody you would play basketball with at the park. Or somebody you would see at the skate park with a skateboard riding down the street. Okay? He don't look like this type of, he don't look like no murderer. Okay? But it's been reported already, man. People have looked at his paper, they looked at his files. This guy was indeed acting and planning on doing something like this. He was extremist. This man had hate in his heart for the Mexicans, okay? So he felt that these people were the enemy. And who did he support? Trump. Who were the main people that voted for Trump? The Confederates did, okay? The neo-Nazis, they voted for Trump. The Triple K voted for Trump. This guy's a Trump supporter. You can see it on his, on his social media. And he had, again, he had a whole lot of guns. He had access to a whole lot of ammunition. Where is he getting them from? Some organization, some Nazi organization is supplying them with guns. That's my only explanation for that. Okay? And if you notice out of mass murders, he's one of the mass murders that's willing to give himself up freely. Just like Demetrius did in Santa Fe High School in Texas. And just like Dalen Roof did. They gave themselves up freely. They didn't fight back. Which means, again, they've probably been told to do that. Somebody has told them, go shoot up that Walmart. Open fire. And when the cops come, just give yourself up. And just, you know what I'm saying, go to jail and we're going to see what we can do for you then. Because remember, the boy in Santa Fe High School was getting getting 40 years with parole, right? And this man was a real, he was a real devil worshiper. And he had the communist, this dude had kamikaze on his jackets, right? The boy from last year, from the, from the Santa Fe High School, right? The kamikaze is basically, uh, it's like, or uh, it's like the middle, like our Marine Simplify. It's a, it's a cold, a word they go by for the, for the Japanese military. But they're, again, they're communists. They went in with Hitler, Okay. But again, man, this man here, man, again, I don't believe he did this on his own, man. I don't believe he's been to either. This man knew what he was doing. Go why else would you travel 600 miles just to go to all the way to El Paso, knowing full well it's populated by Mexico. And he went in there, he scoped it out too. That's how I knew he ain't been to Leo. He scoped that place out. He looked around and see what was what was in there. And he came back and started to open fire. No, this is somebody who had this plan. This was premeditated without a shadow of a doubt. Okay? And if you, if you notice, they only show this man's grandparents. Where was this man's parents? Where was his mom and daddy, right? Now, the FBI did report that his, this dad's father is a doctor for mental illness, right? So he says Trump trying to say his mental illness? No, they ain't, ain't this guy mentally ill. His dad is a, is a uh, mental illness doctor, okay? So, okay, so this father mental illness, uh, is, a, is a father, uh, is a person who's a doctor for mental illness. Why don't they show who the father is? Okay? No, they don't interview this guy's parents at all. Whatsoever. They don't interview him. The guy from last year, they interviewed his parents, but his parents, they ain't showing them. Okay? Since a lot of y'all want to say, a lot of y'all want to claim it's MK Ultra, right? Y'all quick to say an athlete like Chris Paul got MK Ultra, right? You'll say that Shaq got MK Ultra. You'll say that Jalen Rose got MK Ultra. You don't think this man might have been on an MK Ultra? Because most of the time, man, most of these kids reflect on who their parents feel. All right? The reason why you, the reason why you got the KKK now is because these are people who, who grew up in households whose parents taught them to hate blacks, taught them hate Mexicans, hate the brown, hate the Jews, okay? So all this time, this man, this young man grew up in a household whose parents hated these people. They hated these immigrants, okay? They say these people, these, these Mexicans are, are aliens. They, they, they illegals, right? He's been taught to hate them. Because why else would he have that mindset to do what he just did, okay? 
See, sometimes they don't come down to video games. They don't come down to entertainment. Because nobody in the entertainment industry is blatantly telling you to go do this. And let the record show too, man. This is why I tell people to stop getting on these getting on these rappers. Nobody in hip-hop is telling you to go get a gun like he just did. Go on the side of a Walmart or a mall and start shooting at random people. They never one of them. Jay-Z didn't never tell nobody to do that at all. He never told Beyonce. He, Beyonce, they, they never told you to do that. Never, never, man. They not tell you to go kill Mexicans, man. Go kill a certain ethnicity. They, they not telling you to do that. No, man. And the video games ain't doing this either. Because you can't, you can't say it's video games because there hasn't been a Grand Theft Auto in five years. The last Grand Theft Auto was Grand Theft Auto 5, and that was in 2014. And that was, that was a console version. The reason why Rockstar don't make Grand Theft Auto is because of things like this here. Because they don't want to be held accountable for influence people like Patrick Crucis here to do what he just did. To go inside places and start shooting people. Now, you can't blame that on Call of Duty because nobody likes like these knives only, a.k.a. Swag, We even have the audacity to go get him a gun and start going to war with random people who aren't even doing harm to him. No, Call of Duty players don't think like that. No. You can't blame this on Mortal Kombat players. None of that. None of, none of them have this mindset at all. No, ain't no way in the world no Maximilian no dude gonna be doing some gonna be thinking about doing something like that. No. This guy here was supplied. That's the only way to explain how he got that gun. Because in Texas alone, man, they got a gun law that says you could carry a, a concealed weapon, an open weapon in the public, right? That law needs to change because of this, right? Because in, in, even in California, man, you got to go through a process to get a gun. This guy is getting guns easily without a gun. This man, this man probably don't got no gun license. I bet he don't got no gun license. This man, Patrick Cruces, don't have no gun license. He ain't with no, no screening either. See, the government needs to start. The, they, the government needs to start investigating the NSA or the NRA. All right, the ones who be supplying these guns, who be having these gun shops open, man. You need to start investigating these gun shops. Because why is people like this guy here is even, even able to get an AK-47 assault rifle? The gun he's carrying costs at least around 24 grand. And we all know college tuition money can't pay for guns like that. Why is he? How is he? Why is he able to get a gun like that? We all know why the hood out of hood get their weapons because they pay for them. Out of drug money. They push them kilos. So they're able to get connects from out of the country who bring this stuff in. But this guy here is going to actual gun shops buying them. Freely. I feel the only ones who should be able to get a gun like that are military, FBI agents, SWAT team, okay, or people who are or, or who are guard security for like a um, Brinks truck for a bank. Them the only ones should be having access to them type of weapons. Not this guy here who's a college student. Why? Why? What, what, what you need with a military graded weapon? Okay. See, these are things y'all need to be y'all need to be thinking about. And see, to these conspiracy theories on YouTube, you these are videos people need to be discussing. That's why I make my videos, man, because I'm the only one that's able to talk about stuff like this. All you see people doing conspiracy videos on is doing it and doing on Illuminati, doing it on Freemason, doing it on a goddamn eye symbol, a satanic pyramid, focus on the devil. They don't focus on none of no people like this here at all. They not. They're not talking about this. Yeah, people wonder why I get on people like hacking the headlines and Pastor Chronicles channels. Why? Because they're using Christianity to spread hate. They're not using it. They're not talking about no real stuff. Neither one of them got a video like this here. They're not talking about these mass murderers at all. Why? Because they're not focused on that. And people like these mass murderers basically support, like people like this, like Patrick Cruz basically support those channels. It's like when Alex Jones and um, Zachary K. Hubbard and Call for Uprising kept talking about Jews, said that the Jews are this and that, Jews are evil. Zachary K. Hubbard got a video right now in this video where he says they could control the weather, right? This guy called Alex Van Pepp a Jew. He said, we need to get these Jewish people the hell out of here. We need to wipe them out, right? What happened last year? A Jewish synagogue got shot up. Okay? This, this is what I mean, man. Y'all need to stop listening to people who are, who are spreading hate. Because how, what makes the Jews evil, man? The Jews are just minding their own business. They didn't deserve to go out like that. What this man did to these Mexicans in El Paso is what, did, what those Jews, what the man did to, the, to that synagogue. The synagogue got shot up the exact same way. More than one person that got slaughtered and got killed because of, because of influence. Because somebody hates them. Somebody think they're going to take over. Somebody has fear of what they're going to do, which isn't going to actually happen. Okay? Just like my black people have been getting targeted, man. Look how, look how these police officers continue to harass my black people, right? Yeah, you wonder why I keep bringing it up. I keep mentioning it. Now we're getting more mass murders, right? So, again, I hope y'all know what's going on. Now. I hope y'all see the pattern. 
Because I believe, man, the government got people in you who, who's basically a part of these organizations. These Nazi Confederate organizations, you got people that's working inside the government. And they're allowing people like this young man here to get these guns easily. I believe this, this man got supplied with his weapons, with his ammunition. He didn't just get this stuff by himself. All right? He was influenced to do it. Now, there's a movie I want y'all to look at called Higher Learning with Michael Rappaport, Omar Epps, Ice Cube, Buster Rhymes, Tyra Banks, right? I want you to look at that movie. Because this movie explains who this guy is, right? Michael Rapp the character Michael Rappaport plays in Higher Learning is just like this dude here, right? Because in Higher Learning, it's all about a school based on Columbia's. You know what I'm saying? Columbus um, College, right? And in that school, man, you got a guy who Michael Rappaport plays who has a hard time fitting in, right? He's a quiet guy. He's a loner. He's by himself. He didn't fit in with the cap off of uh, the Kappas because he got into it with one of the um, Pledge Masters, right? He didn't get along with the blacks because he felt the blacks wouldn't let him concentrate. They too loud with their music. Okay? He, 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 he chose to transfer out of that dorm, right? It wasn't until he got recruited by a, a, a person who was a skinhead, right? This guy happens to be a Nazi who basically recruited him saying, okay, join me at the bar. We got a group of people, man. We want you to come out. We like you, whatever. We want you to join us, right? And sure enough, Michael Rappaport's character started dressing like the skinhead. He started wearing the the, the, um, the heavy jackets, you know what I'm saying, the bald head with a beanie on, and he started talking like the streamers. And what happened near the end of the movie is this guy decides to open fire on the school, on people he feels the enemy. And he winds up killing Tyra Banks' character. He killed that, that woman who over else this character was in love with, right? As soon as the police tell him, okay, man, like, put your gun down. Okay, we're not going to shoot you. The man decides to shoot himself out of guilt, being a coward, right? So again, man, what goes on in higher learning goes on every day. People like this young man here gets recruited into these, these extremist organizations. So I'm telling you right now, there's a, there's a society out there. Since all y'all want to investigate secret societies, want to investigate the elites, this is who you need to be investigating. Y'all need to stop, focus on Freemasons, stop, focus on Illuminati group that ain't going to come after you at all. Leave these rappers and entertainers alone who got to feed their families, who's doing what they do for a paycheck to provide and pay the bills. They are not the enemy here. Jay-Z, Beyonce, Cardi B, Takashi 69, they are not the enemy. These are people you need to be worried about. That somebody like this here don't come to a school, a Walmart, a mall, or a facility near you and start open fire on you and your whole family. Because he hates you. He feels you the enemy. He feels you need to be out this country. Okay? These are people you all need to be working, y'all need to worry about, and y'all need to focus on. Okay? Now, what, what Donald Trump needs to do, because I claim he's the most idiot president, man. Donald Trump needs to do the right thing. What Trump needs to do before he leaves, he needs to put a case out on this type of guy here. He needs to investigate where he where, where he where he got his guns from, right? Trump needs, again, he needs to investigate the NRA. He needs to investigate these, these Nazis, man, these Confederates, these KKK organizations. That's what he needs to be looking into. The FBI needs to crack down on people like this here, man. Because ain't no way in the world a, a, a guy like this here who's going to college, to junior college, need to be doing with no goddamn weapon. This man is not a security guard. He's not the, He's not U.S. military at all. Okay, he don't work for the law enforcement at all. He's not a SWAT team. He's not a police officer. What does he need with an AK-47 assault rifle? That's a military-graded gun. That gun has a banana clip that carries around 30 rounds with a 100-yard range. And why do you need to go into a Walmart and people who ain't even doing nothing to you? These Mexicans ain't going to harm you. They're not going to kill you. They're not going to harm you and your family. I don't understand that at all. Okay? But again, I'm, I'm telling you what I'm telling you what this come down to, right? Again, it's come down to somebody getting an army. There's an organization right now that's building up an army that's recruiting people like this here and telling them to go attack these buildings, go attack certain areas. Okay? Because ain't no, this man ain't mentally ill. This man knew what he was doing. This was all planned. Okay? Remember, this man traveled from, because Texas is huge. This man traveled... This man from Alameda, Texas, right? This man traveled 600 miles to go to El Paso. That means this man took a big old road trip. Just so he can go out here and do what he did. Okay, so I'm just telling you, man. Look, look at this man's eyes. That's the eyes of somebody who's emotionless. Who has no soul at all. Somebody who's clearly, man, been under some type of influence. So if you want to say somebody's under MK Ultra, this is who you need to be worried about. Right? This is who you need to be focused on. Because again, man, this reflects back on his family. This man comes from family who is who is hating on the Mexicans. This man comes from family who's hating on these these immigrants. This man comes from a family who hates these blacks and hates these Jews. 
That's the only that's the my, that's the only reason why I, I could explain for why he would do something like that. Okay. No, this this is who y'all need. This is where this is coming down to. I'm telling you, man. Y'all need to get ready. And this is why this goes back to my other video, man. Because people got the nerve to um get on me. To, they they, they want to say I need to wake up. No, people need to wake up from their daydream. Because in real life, in real life, things like this happen. People like Patrick Kuchis come out of nowhere and they start shooting, killing people who they feel is a threat. These things happen every day. Now I'm gonna show y'all something. Okay, I, I'm, I'm gonna show y'all something. I want you to look at this picture here, right? Now this is mass shooters in the U.S. that's been reported, right? in 2019. That is an average of more than one mass shooting for every day this year. The El Paso suspect posted a manifesto on a message board called 8chan, which has been linked to at least two other mass shootings. This See, there you go. This who y'all need to be looking at. So for you conspiracy theorists, okay, you people got to know to say everything's being sacrificed. Why don't you, why don't you look at this, right? This is who y'all need to be focusing on, man. Alex Jones, okay, call for uprising. The Vision of the One, Hack of the Headlines, The Pastor Chronicles, everybody who I put on blast because you 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 feel you want to come at my people? You want to talk about these R.S. Being, being the evil, being the devil? This is who you need to be worried, worried about. You need to be worried about this organization, okay? So you want to know why you got people like Patrick Kuchis? Now you know why. This organization, which she just brought up, needs to be needs to be investigated in. They need to be looking at who these people are, Okay? Because I guarantee you, this might be a terrorist organization that y'all not even paying attention about. So this is who you need to be putting a conspiracy on, all right? These are your real devils. That's your real demons. Here, well, overnight and new this morning, the network provider Cloudflare cut off services for 8chan. The FBI served three search warrants in the Dallas area and interviewed acquaintances of the suspect. Overnight, we're hearing from his grandparents. They issued a statement saying they are devastated and praying for the victim. But again, notice, man, where is this man's parents? Where is his mom and daddy? They're not interviewing the parents, okay? Because if his dad is a is a uh, is a doctor for mental illness, then that could mean that this man could have been under MK Ultra. Patrick Kuchis could be under MK Ultra. He could have been possibly brainwashed and programmed to do what he just did. Man, this is that's what I say, man. Y'all need to y'all need to pay attention to what's going on. This is this real stuff like this is happening every day. This is why people need to stop focusing on these rappers, leave these entertainers, these athletes alone. They're not the enemy. Nobody on ESPN is is telling anybody to do this. Freemason show don't have nothing to do with this at all. Okay? Freemason don't got nothing to do with this, man. Illuminati ain't got nothing to do with this. Now, I'm going to play this here, and I want y'all to, um, this is, um, this is Daylight. I want you to hear what Daylight got to say, and this explains why people like Patrick Crucius think the way they do. Okay? This, this, this is the example of how people think. Let me make some, make some very clear to the world. This whole white versus black thing, like with white dudes are really not about that life and black dudes are about that life. Let's make some shit very clear right now. White dudes are about that life more than black dudes are about that life. And I'm going to say this for one reason. A black nigga gets into an altercation, goes back and shoots somebody. You quote unquote about that life. A white dude gets dumped by his girlfriend and goes and shoot up the entire school. Now you see what he just said? What did we have? What, what, what happened last year? That young man in Santa Fe High School in Texas shot up an entire classroom because he was angry and pissed off over something that happened in his life, right? The man in, in Las Vegas, what did he do? He shot up an entire concert because he was pissed off. Okay, he was mad about something that went on in his life, Right? Again, man, what 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 do we be seeing? What we keep seeing every year? The same thing. Right? You don't never see about no black person doing this at all. Okay? No no black person is is is, is shooting up an entire building, shooting up an entire Walmart, shooting up an entire um convenience store because they're angry at somebody. And this is not happening. That's why people just stop treating my black people like they the enemy, like they this and they that, right? Y'all need to leave these leave these these Hispanics alone. They're not the enemy here, man. And I'm not saying this is all white people, man. You know what I'm saying? All white people ain't the same. I understand that, man. Now, again, I'm not trying to be racist. I'm not trying to bring the race card. But this is an example, man. Most of the mass murders we've been seeing 
in America are all Caucasian, but again, I tell you, man, these are these are Nazis. These are Confederates. These are people, you know what I'm saying? These are people who are um uh, who are who are basically been taught and been led through their parents to do what they've been doing, man. These are people who are been taught to hate people, man. And these same people use religion like Jesus as a way to justify their hate. These saying this same man here probably did what he did and was praying to Jesus. All right. Because y'all gonna stand up, man. We are not all worshiping the same God. We're not. Their Jesus is brown hair and blue eyes. They've been taught to believe that black people were cursed. Anybody who ain't white is cursed. God hates them. There's a, there, I want you to look at this other YouTube video of this little kid who died in three minutes who said Jesus was a nigger. Go look at that video. And in that video, that kid said that his daddy taught him that nigger, that, that niggers were cursed. But, but God cursed black people. That's why his, their skin color is dark, right? When he went to heaven, he saw that God was a was a black man, right? Go look at that video. Because pe that little kid it, it has been influenced. This man here was probably influenced by his parents to hate these Mexicans. All right? And even that organization that was reported. Y'all need to go look at look, look, look and see where that came from. Okay? These are your real terrorists. So y'all need to stop saying black folks are terrorists. Stop saying it's the Middle East. Because the only reason why ISIS was doing what they doing is because of what Bush and them did to their people. In that country over in Afghanistan. The, and, and, and truth be told, the, the ISIS only goes after people who look Caucasian. They don't go after no other body, no other else. Why? Because they're angry. The other this he did something to them, man. Go look at that floor. Go look at the boy that shot up into that club, man. Who is Middle Eastern, man? Go look at ISIS, man. The reason why they hate is because of what these people have been doing to them. Okay? And again, I'm not saying all white people are the same. There are white people who are genuine. There are white people who are nice. I'm just talking about these particular people who look like these particular people here. So people like Patrick Cruces, man, this is who um this is who I'm focused on, man. So you could you people who do these conspiracy videos, videos, y'all need to do a video now. And stop attacking me, man. Because you got people that want to debate me, that want to tell me I need to wake up. Because I got on hacking the headlines, I got on Pastor Chronicles. Is because again, those particular channels are not focused on these type of things. They're not. There are people that are using a they um using a social media platform to talk about the wrong stuff. That's a distraction. They keep talking about these rappers and these entertainers. That's a distraction. They're not the ones telling you to go inside these schools, these buildings, and these schools, and these WalMarts and shoot multiple people. They're not. Again, they're not the enemy. Okay, people like this man here is who you need to be worried about. Because I'm telling you right now, man, the, the the Confederates, the KKK, and these Nazis, they want another civil war to start. Okay, they want these Mexicans, these blacks, and these uh, these Jews to rebel, to start shooting and killing them the same way they're doing us. They want they want a big old shootout. They want uh, martial law to start so they can start doing what they've been doing. So they can start. They want a purge. That's what they what it comes down to. Like they move the purge. That's what they really want. They want the government to have a purge. They feel that because that's all this man is really doing. He's trying to purge them out. Because he feels these Mexicans are unclean. When these Mexicans are innocent. These Mexicans just trying to survive and just trying to make it. They ain't trying to do nothing to this man. This man probably ain't never once had got into problems with any Hispanic. No, this is just this is just this man's just evil. He has evil in his heart. Okay? But this is who y'all need to be worried about. This is why I make my videos, man. I talk about some real stuff. I don't talk about that nonsense. I'm not with the program. I'm not about to be making a YouTube video telling you who sold out. I'm not about, I'm not, well, make a video looking at a pyramid, looking at a satanic symbol, trying to say who's the devil or not. No, I'm not focused on that stuff. I'm not about to be calling Beyonce a, a devil worshiper. I'm not about to be doing that. That's not me. And this is why I don't have a whole lot of subscribers. Because a lot of people don't want to go to my channels because I'm, I'm, I'm talking about too much real stuff they're not focused on. I'm not with the agenda. These are videos that need to be discussed. People like this here is who we need to be talking about. Okay? And like I said, man, the laws in, in the South, the Texas, they need to change that. So we don't get more people like this here. Anyway, folks, that's the video, man. Y'all like, subscribe, comment, man. Tell me how you feel about this. Y'all stay blessed. Stay tuned. I'll see you soon.